Hi. We're going to look at how to use the chroma key green effect to make the green part of an image or video clip transparent. I've loaded a background image onto track 1 and an image of a guy photographed in front of a green screen onto track 3. The goal is to just see the guy in front of the background image like this. We can see right away that there are problems with the green screen image. There's some text above the guy's head and we see beyond the edges of the green screen so we're going to have to crop this out. I'll go to Effects, View Animation, Section. The Section effect is a cropping tool, nothing else, and it can't be keyframed. Pop down the menu and select Free Proportions. Now I can drag the sides in on the top and the bottom just to frame the guy's image. Now select Size Position. The image will fill the screen either the height or the width, depending on the proportions. Now this is too big, so I'll zoom out to reduce the size, and I'll move the image to where I want it on the screen by dragging it. Now we'll go back to Video Effects, go to Chroma Key, and click on the green circle. The green around the guy has disappeared, just what we wanted. However, there's a bit of a green tinge, so I'll adjust the threshold down ever so slightly. Note that there's also the fading range slider. You can play around with these to see the fine tuning that they can do. Here are a few pointers on creating green screen videos. Many companies online offer green screen backdrop material. I bought one with supports on Amazon. If you have a green screen and want to film video of someone in front of it, to get the best quality it's important to have a smooth background with no creases or folds and to have it evenly lit with no shadows from the subject. Make sure that the subject doesn't go outside of or even close to the edges of the green screen. As you saw, if the captured video, not the subject, goes outside of the limits of the green screen, just use the section effect to crop that part out. Green is not the only color that can be used. As you can see in the chroma key screen, there's also blue, water, black and white. The only problem is that if your subject has any of these colors, there will be holes in your subject. You can make adjustments using the threshold and fading range, as I mentioned, to help remove any imperfections in the green part. Now if there is some green, or another chroma key color in your subject, you'll need to use a mask to protect that area. Watch my tutorial on doing just that. I hope that this has helped you understand how to use chroma key green. Thank you for watching. Till next time, enjoy.